Welcome back. This is going to be my daily review of uh, the foreign exchange market. Uh, today is um, Friday, 25th of September, and we're going to look at basically how this week has um, has been for the foreign exchange market for these five currencies pairs that we're going to take. And then we're going to basically look at what to expect next week um, for the foreign exchange market. So if you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the like button at the bell button. Um, and yes, let's get into it. So on Monday and Tuesday and also Wednesday, this market absolutely crashed. We ran into resistance at the uh, 20 exponential moving average and the 40 exponential moving average. And since then, we uh, found support at the 150 moving average and the 200 moving average here. So at the moment, we're trading within the 100 moving average and the 150 moving average. So today we rallied all the way up to the 100 moving average. We got rejected. And um, at this point, is I think it's just a matter of time before we break uh, lower here. Um, everything is basically against the British economy at the moment uh, and also the sterling, uh, both with Brexit, with the coronavirus, with the technical economic conditions in the, in the UK, and you also have the US dollar appreciating at this mo at this point. So every rally is a selling opportunity. I'm definitely not a buyer um, at this point. We also have this this. Um, Resistant line here that has to be broken and also all of these uh, moving averages above. So I just think it's just a matter of time before we break lower. Uh, this is a very difficult market to trade. Um, basically because every bad news that comes out of the, of the negotiation with the EU and so on will have enormous effects on, uh, this, uh, on, the, on the sterling. And also this pair. So if you look at the technical indicators, they're looking really bad. The, we are really far away from the, the signal line in the MACD. We are pointing downwards for, the, for RSI. We are almost always sold, but we have actually been here before. Um, the long run uh, for week uh, for the stochastic, it is really negative. And, uh, and the Bollinger Band, we're just expecting this to continue to making lower um uh, yes, just technically grinding lower in this market. At the moment, it is these two moving average that are uh, supportive and and it's just a matter of time before they basically break. So if we look at the US dollar and the yen, we did rally quite nicely. And as I did expect, if we broke through the 20 exponential moving average, then we have the 40 and the 50 uh, moving averages that will be resistant and they basically were very similar to this we probably will hang around in this area for some time before we again break down to 104 um, if we were to break the 50 moving average then we have this 100 moving average right above and that will be also uh, probably a better entry for a sell at this point um, if you look at the us dollar and the uh, now the euro and the US dollar, then we basically ran into support. We didn't even get close to the 100 moving average, but we did rally and we gave back those gains. And at this point, we are going to test this 100 moving average. If that breaks, we'll go down to 1140 and we'll also have the 150 moving average um, uh, traveling up here. With, together with the 100 move, 200 moving average. The technical indicators for this pair are, well, diabolically bad, uh, I can basically say. You just look at the, the um, uh, MACD, is basically falling apart. It's far away from the signal line, indicating that we're not even close to um, having um, upwards momentum in this market. We are almost oversold. Um, so, and if we look at the stochastic, it is also far away from this uh, red line here. So we have a lot of downward, um, well, negative for this market uh, the next coming weeks. 
Of course, here the European economy is doing terribly. If you look at the, the European indexes, they are basically falling apart. Both the yeah, the British uh, uh, FTSE and the uh, DAX are just technically just falling apart at the at this moment because the world economy is really bad, and we have the Brexit condition, and and we also have the U.S. dollar appreciating. So it is basically a perfect storm uh, at this point. So. I have no interest in basically buying this market. If it, if we were to rally from here, then will the maximum that we will go is to these highs is at uh, 1.20, and that is as far as this market technically will go to the upside at this point. So if you look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we found we almost got down to this resistance line. We rallied and we gave back our our our. Our, um, our gains and this is uh, should be a very worrying sign. If you look at what happened this week, this uh, pair just fell apart. We uh, we had a decrease uh, of around 4.34% uh, in one week. That is terrible. Um, and if you look at the technical indicators, there is no end in sight. We are oversold at the moment, but uh, the MACD is really negative. The, the stochastic for the weekly is also terrible. So every pullback for in this market is technically a selling opportunity. Uh, no interest in basically uh, buying this market at, the, at this point. Um, as long as the US dollar is basically uh, appreciating and these technical indicators are showing this bad performance, well, yeah, this market will go lower. Uh, have we have a trend reversal? No, probably not. But I think that it will take at least uh, one most, and two weeks before we hit bottom uh, of this market and, and go higher. Um, so value hunting here. It's probably a good idea. Uh, we'll probably go all the way down to the 200 moving average and then bounce from there. Um, because I do expect the US dollar to depreciate when uh, when it basically hits around uh, 95 to, 7, to 97. Um, and that will take at least one or two more weeks. So if you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we, we did rally. And gave back some of those gains. It looks like this green line here, which is the hundred expansion, uh, the hundred moving average, will be um, resistant. We are just on this green line, which is the hundred moving average. Right underneath, we have support of these three moving averages: the 15, 20, and the uh, 40 exponential moving average. And we look at the technical indicators; they are very positive for this this pair. So we most likely will go higher. Uh, this 300 moving average will play, uh, we will be resistant. Then we have the 150 and 200 moving average uh, right above, and those will also be resistant. Um, yes. Um, if we have a trend reversal here, probably not. This has also all to do with basically the US dollar appreciating. And when that turns around, I could expect this market to basically go lower. So I hope you find this video helpful and uh, you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the bell button and the like button. And a good weekend and uh, thank you very much.